What's up everybody, welcome back to That Nintendo Show. I thought it'd be really cool to go through this quick unboxing here of the NES World Championships Edition. I had to go down to my local game store and get it because there was no way I was going to be able to order it and get it here on time. So I got up extra early today just to make this happen. So let's do a quick tour around this box here before we get inside to the goods. As you can tell, I'm not a professional box opener. All right, so this first little package here. So scared I'm gonna rip this thing open because I'm trying to preserve all this packaging and it's not going well. Okay, here we go. All right, so these are the little collectible cards that they put in the box. There's one for every game that's included in the World Championship Edition. Some of these games I have never played before, including the original Metroid, Do Not Come At Me, or Kid Icarus. Sitting here thinking about how I need where I'm going to put these because I don't even know the proper way that you would ever go about displaying these or maybe they just stay in the package. Who knows? So you obviously get a copy of the game. Really cool. This inside artwork showing all the different games on it. Oh, wait, actually taste test. <laughs> yep. Still tastes like shit. Anyway. So this is the, my favorite part about this. This is a little golden NES cartridge that has the world championships on it. Obviously it doesn't work, but it's just really cool collectible to have. And on the back of it, it's got all the little icons from all the different games that are included. And look, it's me. Say hi, me. Super cool. Very nifty, very shiny. Love it. And then finally, we got the collectible pins that come with it. I'm a big sucker for some collectible pins. One day I get it open. Yep. Okay. So. Again, very shiny collectible pins. Love all of them. Again, don't really know where I would display them at, but I'm sure I'll figure something out, but they are just super fancy, super shiny. Love every bit of them. But that's pretty much the NES World Championships uh, Collector's Edition unboxing. So let's switch over to the game and see what's up. All right, let's get into this software and see what it's all about. And I'm just gonna let you guys know off the top. I am not a speedrunner <laughs> at all. So don't expect great things from this, at least right now. Give me some time to get warmed up. Anyway, between the late 80s and 90s, NES championships were held all across the world. The obstacle of visiting the venues in person may have made it difficult for many of you to see these spectacles firsthand, and some of you face an even greater obstacle not being born. And that would be correct. As a child of 1995, I was way too young slash not born yet to be able to partake in this. That's why we brought the championships to you. Now you can experience the thrill of competition against players from all around the world. This is the NES, Nintendo World Championships NES edition. All right, let's choose a player icon. So we got, oh wow, there's a lot of these. Um, I'm a Zelda guy, so let's just go with my boy Link. Choose a hype tag. Oh man. My parents are the NES generation. Yep. Okay. Oh my God. Parents hid my power cord. Oh my gosh. Leave a, leave a comment on this video. If your parents ever hit a power cord from you, cause uh, I can relate. Hopefully I'm not the only one. Had game packs, but no console. That's upsetting. Once a reset button for life. Me too. 
Oh, here we go. In six, Nintendo 64 generation. That's all I need. And we're going to go choose your favorite NES or Famicom game. Uh, NES all the way. Oh, wow. They just got the, the full list. Wow. Okay. You know, I'm sitting here thinking about, like, what is my favorite NES game? And it wasn't until much later that I ever went to go play The Legend of Zelda. So I'm thinking back when I was a kid, what was my favorite NES game? And as much as I played Super Mario Brothers, I don't think it's my favorite as a kid. I'm going off of when I was a kid. When I was a kid, though, my favorite game was Battletoads, I think. Never beat it, but I loved it. Loved the idea of it. it had really good music. Oh, what? Well, there's a Beetlejuice game? That's crazy. Never knew that. Uh, we are not going to link a Nintendo account. <laughs> not be playing online. All right. So I guess we're starting with speedrun mode. Become a speedrun master by practicing the challenges offline. Your fastest clear times will be saved. The coins you get for playing can be used to unlock more challenges. Okay. Uh, so it looks like we are just playing the original Mario Brothers. Get the Super Mushroom. No. Oh. That's it? Okay. Let's do this. But they weren't ready for as I still play this on the Nintendo Online. Haha. <laughs> a plus. Okay. I bet these get a lot harder the farther into this you go. Let's we'll see if I can we can perfect that a little bit. I love that it, it shows your personal best replay to the right. That's cool. Oh, okay. Well, this is not it. Nope. Okay. Well, you can't win them all. It even shows you what button you're holding down. That's fine. Get up there. Man, that... Okay, I, I totally see the appeal of this game. This can get very addicting very quick. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. Cannot pause. Well. Okay. Okay, game. I see what you're putting in. Oh, see, you get better. You get better every time you do it. Most times. All right. Let's see what else we got. So you have to, you get coins to unlock other games. So like right now I have 48 coins, so I could unlock that. Loose change. Collect all the coins. Bam. I'm a legend. All right, let's see what else we got. Zelda? Get the sword. How do you perfect this? You walk left, you walk up. You wait for text to go through. You walk up right. A plus plus. How would you get an S on that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, if S, I'm assuming S rank exists. How do you perfect that? Hmm. What else we got? So we got Metroid. You know, this would be a really good test because I'm not a Metroid person. I've never played this, so. I just turn into a Metroid legend. Oh, oh, he's got it. Oh, I missed. I still take an A plus. Look, I, no one can ever say I've never played Metroid ever again because I just played it. I'll even play it again. I'll play the whole thing right now. Bam, A plus plus. I'm a Metroid legend. All right. We'll do one or two more just to get a feel for it. So I want nothing to do with Zelda 2, the adventure of Link, if I can avoid it. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with Donkey Kong. Climb a ladder. Some of these are like very just way too simple. Can I just climb this? That doesn't count. Okay, well. Okay, so first ladder doesn't count. Look at this optimal movement. 
Bam, S rank, there it is. I am a Nintendo world champion. All right, you get the idea though. The more of these games you play, the more coins you get, the farther up the ranks you go just to get more challenges. There looks like to be a lot of stuff here. And then if you do link a Nintendo account to it, you can put your world records up against other uh, other people's online just to see where you can, you can compete against each other. And it also does support eight player local co-op so you and up to seven of your friends can all do these challenges at the same time, which seems like it get really crazy. But that's pretty much it for this. Let's see if we've unlocked anything else. Yeah, world championships, test your skills against players from around the world. Survival mode is whenever you play against other people. Survive three matches against ghost data from around the world to be crowned the winner. So, oh, that's almost like a battle royale thing. Interesting. Of course, you get all your, your pin collections and player icons and everything. God, there's five. There's a lot of stuff to unlock in this game. So completionists are going to have a field day with this. But anyway, that'll pretty much do it for Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like on if you enjoyed it and subscribe if this is your first time here. I will probably make a follow-up to this once I get a little further into it because I know all of these challenges are very basic, but I imagine as you get way further into this, they're going to get a lot harder. So in the meantime, have a great day and I'll see you next time.